Hello students, welcome to the session. So, uh, yoga therapy final year BNY students, we are going to discuss about integrated approach of yoga therapy. We already started this in introductory part in our last class. Today we are continuing uh, with that. Uh, in that we have just brief, I'll briefly I will give about uh, the physical, the Panchakosha theory uh, that clearly states from Taitra Upanishad, which I explained in my last class. Um, the, our physical body, our uh, entire personality divided into five levels. That is physical level, we can see in the slide also. Annamaya Kosha, and the vital sheath, sheath of prana, that is called as pranamaya kosha. Then sheath of mind, that is called as manomaya kosha. And sheath of intellect, that is called as vijnanamaya kosha. Similarly, the sheath, sheath of bliss, that is anandamaya kosha. So, uh, the disease is not not normally the modern medical system as per modern medical system it is understood that disease is uh, from the physical body but physical body is the outcome of the disease but it starts from the vijnanamaya manomaya pranamaya from there it leads to the physical diseases so that's why uh, you should understand how the disease starts i already told uh, disease normally starts at the intellectual level from there uh, like in the form of strong likes and li dislikes it leads to Adi, the disturbance at Manomaya Kosha level in the form of mental agitation and that into, uh, percolate into Pranamaya Kosha there is an episode flow of Prana and unstable Nadis that is at Pranamaya Kosha level and internally it is affecting to the Annamaya Kosha level in the form of under digestion, over digestion, under digestion means Ajirnatva, over digestion means Atijirnatva whereas wrong digestion means Kujirnatva and that is totally turned into Vyadhi. So, Adi is a stress, cause of the disease. Uh, vyadhi is physical outcome, that is physical disease. For example, if you have hypertension, diabetes, digestive problems, any disease if you are taking, the cause is not at uh, Annamaya Kosha level. It is only outcome of the, you can see the symptoms, the disease, symptoms. But the real cause is stress, tensions. Uh, agitations of the mind at Manomai Kosha level. So that's why you should clearly understand uh, which I explained in the last class also we can see in this first quadrant uh, you can see the region of normal health. This is a health but what happened due to our wrong lifestyle, wrong way of living we uh, slipped into the third quadrant that is region of ill health later to the animal level. But what is the role of yoga here? You can see there in the fourth quadrant state of well-being, balance, but that has to go to upper level. That is in the first quadrant, superhuman being, superman level, superhuman being, divine human being, and divinity. But when you are region of ill health, you can see here the region of ill health. So this is what disease is. Why? Because region of health we are not maintaining. All our faculties, all our systems are not properly working. Then we are slipping to due to various reasons, stress tension, wrong lifestyle, wrong food habits, this we slipped into the region of ill health. The entire therapy of yoga is aimed at uh, this type of bringing you to the uh, normal uh, human being. Physically, you are becoming fit and maintaining your health. So, you can see the further, for example, I told Vyadi, how Vyadis are classified. So, when we say Vyadi, uh, Adi leads to Vyadi, how Vyadis are classified. So, they are classified into two important varieties, um, like types. Adi Jehu Vyadi, who explained this? Being a student, you should know origin. You say you are from Tamil Nadu, you are from Andhra Pradesh, you are from Karnataka, origin. So, these concepts origin from where? You all well aware that the Yoga Vasistha, there is a dialogue between Rama and Vasistha, you know. Bhagavad Gita is emerging the dialogue between Krishna and Arjuna. Arjuna asks the question, Krishna gives a reply. Similarly, Rama went to Gurukula, Vasistha Ashrama, and there he was he was raising so many questions. So that time he is trying to give them serious kathas. So there origined this uh, form of disease. Rama asks to Vasistha, what is the cause of the disease? Then he says about this concept. The disease is two types. Adi Jehovyadi. Anadi Jehu Vyadi. Adi Jehu Vyadi. The Vyadis are physical elements classified into two. First, we learned about how Adi leads to Vyadi. Now, we are understanding about what is Vyadi, how many diseases are there. 
see we have to look into the yogic concept about disease how diseases are explained in yogic concept so adi jah vyadi and anadi jah vyadi so the adi jah vyadi is it is arised out of adi adi means what stress tensions agitations of the mind whereas anadi jah vyadi is not caused by the adis not at all caused by the adis it is called as infectious diseases today we are, we are in the pandemic of corona that is anadi jah vyadi but anadi jah vyadi is also our mind our lifestyle be responsible so adi means it is generated by adi jah vyadi is generated by adis so when you look into adi there are two types of adi further you are going to study about it sara type and samanya type brief understand this uh, schematic diagram of elements according to yoga yoga therapy see therapy is only a technique but what is this is you have to understand so sara type of vyadi means our congenital elements see one type our birth itself is vyadi see why what i am today is because of my past karmas past karmas are known as samskaras see whatever i am doing it will go on impress on you studied in a second and third year in karma yoga it will be impressed on the soul future possibility of reoccurring again future possibilities of next janma that's why buddha said the moment he realized his samskaras are responsible for till be realized buddha under bodogaya vriksha i am a buddha i am not a siddhartha that time they called him buddha he he says great words oh now i know my 24 births were there for him before he becoming buddha that siddhartha 24 births so he told this is the one birth for me i realized 24 births cause samskara they say is in pali language sankara so this is sara type of vyadi when you look into the disease our congenital elements by birth we get some diseases type 1 diabetes congenital heart diseases hereditary diseases down syndrome and other things so they are all coming under sara type of vyadi so next which type samanya type ordinary type when we interact with the world today we are discussing this only we cannot influence much about our birth it has already happened but we can influence our destiny as our indian philosophy says next janma i can be free and be one with the god that choice is there with me the human being is the only creature can decide his destiny see ant or a small animal cannot so this is the way where we have to learn about how to samanya type of vyadi the samanya type of vyadi means psychosomatic elements psychosomatic elements so when we interact with the world we get so now we learn today in this class about that our different levels of existence what is adi when strong likes and dislikes leads to the adi and then adi how percolate into different levels and gives vyadi so these vyadis are these concepts were taken from where from yoga vasistha and classification of vyadi according to yoga vasistha sara type of vyadi adi jah vyadi and adi jah vyadi and we are under the discussion of further two types according to adi jah vyadi that is sara type essential type and samanya type what is sara type i think i explained up to here to you which is responsible for cycle of birth and death of physical body responsible for the cycle of birth and death of our physical body and that is responsible for our cycle of rebirth and as well as not cycle of rebirth the congenital elements congenital anomalies mental retardation we don't know how the child will birth tomorrow mental retardation cardiac disorders which is a like like we call articular uh, arterial ventral uh, septal defects septal defects of heart or hereditary diseases so these all we learn so if in next class we will learn about the samanya type of vyadhi thank you